So I think I started to notice the hair loss around about 25, 26 years old. When I look in the mirror, I generally see a project would be the way I would say, because if I'm going to do something with my hair, I have to wear it a certain way where it, where it basically hides the fact that the spots that are thinning um, don't have the density as the spots that I'm pulling over the top of that. I felt really good about the procedure itself and the level of expertise that was shown. The, the distance didn't play a factor then because if you're gonna work with somebody, you wanna work with the best and make sure that it's done and it's done right. In my research with which procedure I wanted to choose initially, it was led by FUE, which I believe is the follicular unit extraction. I have a little bit curlier hair type. And so to try to follow that down and, and get the follicle out, uh, it might be a little bit more difficult because even the most skilled surgeon can see what it's doing above the scalp, but below the scalp you can't. And so you may end up running the risk of damaging that follicle when you're trying to transplant that. Given the type of hair loss that I have, I didn't think that the maximum um, amount of follicles that they could move uh, with FUE was going to give me the results that I, that I needed to see. So MUE definitely seemed to be the better option. It was also more cost effective in hopes of not having to do the procedure two or three times. Um, this is going to be the, the best way for me to go and to be able to move the amount of follicles that's going to make a difference for the type of hair loss that I have. It would be nice to have the full coverage again and be able to go back to doing some of the other activities that I enjoy, water sports, whatever, without having to worry about what does my hair look like. You know, and is somebody going to make an off the cuff comment about it where it's like, I already know that and you know it, why do you have to bring it up, right? So for me, more than anything, more than the style or just any of that, kind of just having that out of my frame of mind rather and uh, just be able to live my life, live in the moment and just kind of enjoy the things that I'm doing. I definitely have somebody that's very special to me in my life. She's a very, very attractive person. I'd certainly like to be the person on her arm who matches her, and, and I think I can do that a little bit more easily with hair as opposed to without. So I haven't looked at the final numbers, but it was pretty extraordinary. We're thinking 8,000, maybe 500 hairs, maybe more, I don't know quite yet, but. The estimate that I received was around 6,000 and that's what we had discussed. So um, for you guys to go, <clears throat> excuse me, above and beyond for me like that, I, I genuinely appreciate it. I think it speaks volumes to how just fundamentally involved you guys are with the process and how you genuinely want to see somebody succeed with this. 